Sneemaster. Master. Hi everyone, Snee Master here with a review of the MISC Freelancer Dur. The Dur is a long-range exploration version of the Freelancer. It is designed to reach far locations and search for minerals, wrecks, ships, and places. The Dur has a special long-range scanner and extra fuel tanks. There are actually two computers versus one that you find on most Freelancers. The Freelancer Dur has two size 2 shield generators, two size 2 hydrogen fuel tanks, and one size 2 quantum fuel tank and drive. It also has a special quantum drive for long range. You can see on the nose an antenna and two sensor devices that stick out. The Dur is 38 meters long and 9.5 meters high. The Dur has a crew of up to four people. It has a combat speed of 154 meters per second and a max speed of 1005 meters a second. The ship contains the same features as other freelancers. It has four seats in the cockpit with the same limited visibility as other variants. There are MFDs all around the pilot and co-pilot seats, and then computer displays for the rear two seats. In the living area, there are four beds that also double as escape pods. There's an engineering system which doesn't work yet. There's the side exit with a small airlock and ladder in the same living area, which sounds like a bad idea. Next to that is a small kitchen with food processor. It even has some nice cups and other utensils and a cooking device. Opposite that is the combination toilet, shower, and sink. Behind the living quarters is an airlock with a vertical hatch. You can store a little bit of cargo on the ground here. Not too much, but some. Behind this airlock is a room with a fuel refining system, although I'm assuming it's only for hydrogen fuel rather than quantanium, but we'll have to see. This system should extend hydrogen fuel at least. There look to be some control panels on it that don't function yet. The cargo bay is behind it with 36 SCU storage. It has less storage space than the normal Freelancer because of the fuel refining room. You can fit a rock or two in the cargo bay, but you have to watch out not to block the rear turret access. You might be able to squeeze a tumbrel cyclone in there, but it might get stuck. Hover vehicles should fit nicely in there though, perfect for exploration. The Freelancer Dur has four size 3 pilot controlled weapon hardpoints with attrition 3 laser repeaters on them. They do gimbal, so you can aim around slightly, up and down, and to the sides a little. That's a good thing, as the freelancers are not quite as agile as fighters. On the back, you have the turret with two size 2 hard points with laser scatter guns. The turret has great visibility to the rear and sides of the ship, but can't quite aim to the front very well. It tends to aim upwards a bit when it's aiming in the front. If you want the gunner to hit items in front of you, the pilot will have to aim the ship a little lower. The turret does not aim upwards very well either, and it can't aim below the ship at all, so that can also be a problem. There are two size 3 and two size 4 missile racks on the wings. The size 3 points have dual size 2 missiles, and the size 4 hard points have dual size 3 missiles, for a total of 4 missiles of each type. You can change out the racks as needed. The Dur goes for $135 on the website, or you can buy it for 1.9 million UEC in-game at Lorville. There are currently three paints for the Freelancer Dur. A black paint, a grayish blue storm surge paint, and the 2951 auspicious red paint. The Freelancer Dur will be a great ship for exploring large solar systems like Pyro or searching out valuable minerals to mine. Both individuals and orgs can take advantage of the features of the Dur. You can fly it by yourself as it has plenty of pilot controlled guns and missiles, but having a crew will help for the turret and engineering features. The refinery itself will probably require a crew to work it. The Dur won't be able to carry much cargo or large ground vehicles, but for a game like Star Citizen, exploration will be very important. You will be able to search out targets very well with the ship, including on the ground, if you carry some hover vehicles, and you could make some good money with the ship. Like all freelancers though, the ship desperately needs a gold pass. There are buttons that don't work yet, the interior layout is still very primitive, and not up to the current ship standards. The rear turret is only minimally effective, and only for rear attacks at the right angle. The side and upper airlocks are placed strangely. There are no gun or suit lockers either. The ship needs a lot of work to be improved. After seeing how the hull A is set up, I think CIG needs to really go back and fix the Freelancer ship soon. But aside from that, the Freelancer Dur is a great ship to fly. It handles combat well with the guns and missiles. It's fairly maneuverable, and its ship speed is horrible. The two medium shields protect it quite well, and it can take you very far before needing refueling. I also like the paint scheme on the Dur. That is so unique to it. We'll have to see how the fuel refinery works out on the ship when CIG makes it functional. I definitely recommend the ship, especially for larger solar systems.
All right, so that's it for the MISC Freelancer. If you are interested in jumping into Star Citizen, go ahead and use my referral code to get an extra 5,000 in-game credits. So you can spend those on anything you like. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to click the like and subscribe buttons to get more videos. Let me know if you want me to review a particular ship or item. Check out my Patreon if you'd like to help me out. Okay, catch you all next time.